Hello friends, today we will learn about nucleophiles. Nucleophiles are basically nucleus lover. A nucleophile is a chemical species which can donate an electron pair to form a chemical bond. Nucleophile donates its electron pair thus acting as a Lewis base. Take this nucleophile and another species with a positive charge. So this species no doubt is electron deficient. Nucleophile being electron rich it will donate its lone pair to form a coordinate covalent bond. Now the positive charge on carbon is getting vanished because it is accepting one electron from nucleophile and negative charge of a nucleophile is vanishing because it is giving its extra electron to the carbon to form a coordinate covalent bond. Now which molecules or ions can act as nucleophiles? Molecules or ions containing non-bonded electron pair or having at least one pi bond can act as nucleophiles. Nucleophiles can be classified into two classes, negatively charged nucleophiles and neutral nucleophiles. Negatively charged nucleophiles are those nucleophiles which should contain negative charges. Chloride, bromide, cyanide, nitrate, hydroxide, etc. are negatively charged nucleophiles. Neutral nucleophiles include ammonia, water, alcohol, ether, amines, alkene, alkyne, ketone or aldehyde and benzene and lots more. Here for negatively for neutral nucleophiles they should contain at least one lone pair of electron or presence of pi bond. Benzene is a nucleophile because it has three pi bonds. Three pi bonds means six pi electrons. So it is an electron rich system and hence it acts as a nucleophile. Nucleophilicity is the affinity of a nucleophile to a, to a nucleus. More the affinity of a nucleophile towards the nucleus, it will be more nucleophilic. Compare between alcohol and amine. Both are nucleophiles because they contain lone pair of electrons. Nucleophiles means it donates its lone pair to a species which is electron deficient. Between oxygen and nitrogen, nitrogen will donate readily to carbon which is positively charged. It will also donate but the ease will be less. It is because nitrogen is less electronegative than oxygen and hence it donates more. This can be easily understood by considering the situation. Let's say one beggar is there and one rich man and one, uh, let's say one more stingy and less stingy people are there. Of course, less stingy people will donate to the beggar more readily. Nucleophilicity depends upon following four factors new electronegativity, charge, solvent, and steric hindrance. Charge more the electron density of an atom, it will be more nucleophilic. Compare between hydroxide ion and water. Here, our oxygen we have negative charge. Here we do not have any negative charge. So as compared with oxygen in water, this O- minus has more electron density. So it will act as a more nucleophilic than this. Similarly, NH2- minus is more nucleophilic than NH3. HS- minus is more nucleophilic than H2S because N is having is more is having more electron density 
than this nitrogen. Sulfur is having more electron density here than here. Next factor is electronegativity. More the electronegativity, lesser it is nucleophilicity. Fluorine is more electronic than oxygen. Oxygen is more electronic than nitrogen, and nitrogen is more electronic than carbon. And their nucleophilicity, uh, nucleophilicity order is in the reverse order. Carbon is more nucleophilic than nitrogen, than oxygen, than fluorine. Carbon is most a uh, stronger nucleophile since it is least electronegative. Less of the electronegativity, more is its nucleophilicity. Similarly, CH3 minus is more nucleophilic than NH2 minus, than OH minus, than F minus. SIH3 is more nucleophilic than PH2 minus, H minus, Cl minus. Polar protic solvent forms hydrogen bond with nucleophile. Thus, it forms a shell around it and hence it decreases its nucleophilicity. Polar protic solvents are those solvents which has replaceable hydrogen atom. From here, H plus can be knocked out, thus giving OH minus. From here, H plus can be knocked out to give alkoxide ion. So these are all polar protic solvents. So they form hydrogen bond. And since they form hydrogen bond, and it, it is uh, having less power to donate its electron pair. Thus, it decreases its nucleophilicity. More the hydrogen bonding, lesser will be its nucleophilicity. F minus is the strong has strongest power to form hydrogen bonding. So, it is the weakest nucleophile. Iodide forms weakest hydrogen bonding. So it is strongest nucleophile. A protic solvents like dimethylformamide, acetone, alkyl cyanide, they have no effect on nucleophilicity. Steric hindrance. More the bulkiness or size of some group or atom, weaker will, will be its nucleophilicity. Methoxide is more nucleophilic than ethoxide, then isopropoxide, then tertiary butoxide. Nucleophilicity is decreasing because the bulkiness or the size of alkyl group is increasing. Bigger the alkyl group, more is the hindrance to approach the electrophilic center and hence decreases its nucleophilicity. Methyl iodide. This bond is polar bond. Iodine is more electronegative, so this bond will be pulled towards it, making it del negative and del positive. So this carbon is electrophilic center. Now O minus is nucleophilic center. It will attack this carbon and this bond will be broken heterolytically. This is an SN2 reaction. Thus forming OCH3. This reaction is very fast. Plus I minus. Very fast. But compare with this, uh, tertiary butoxide this group is bulky, so it faces hindrance to attack, to approach this carbon. In this case, the reaction takes place very slowly because this group is bulky. So it is weaker nucleophile and methoxide is strong nucleophile. 